it's Rio and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to go over my workout and health plans for the month of February. I don't really have much planned. I've been kind of taking it easy since the pregnancy, um, but I'm planning on stepping it up a little bit. Um, as workouts go, I've been going on a lot more walks and doing um, a few more squats, so I'm hoping to go and make my way up to 200 squats a day um, for the month of February. I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna go, but um, I'm around like the 100 um, squats per day type thing right now, so I definitely want to stick that up a notch. Um, hopefully if I can get to 200 at a comfortable pace, I can move up to 300 from next month up to my delivery date. Um, so there's that one. Um, it's been a journey. Um, I don't have the best knees, but um, it's been a while since my surgery on them, so definitely it can be done. Um, so besides that, I want to do this prenatal yoga um, routine. I don't really remember where I got this from. I found it on Pinterest. I just looked up um, prenatal yoga and this one came up and I thought it was it looked pretty good and pretty simple. I actually really love yoga. I've done a few yoga routines before um, so I just thought that since I am pregnant, I actually should have started this sooner, but since I am pregnant I probably should be doing a little bit more prenatal yoga type things. Um, besides that, prenatal yoga, walking, and squats. Um, I haven't done much on the workout front. I know I can't do like sit-ups and, and exercises on my back for whatever reason, um, but I think what I'm going to do is look up some more prenatal workouts and pick one of those and add that to my um, workout uh, routine for the month of February. Um, besides that, um, health-wise, um, everything's going great. Baby's doing fine. Um, the diabetes um, is is working itself out, I guess. I don't know. It's been a, quite a process. So I figured out I was diabetic, like, I think 10 weeks into my pregnancy. So I'm not having, like, a normal pregnancy, like, this kind of thing. I've actually lost some weight. Um, it's kind of like I'm losing weight but gaining baby, so my weight's kind of like staying the same, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm not eating like, I'm eating very healthy. Um, I'm eating a lot more salads. I'm not like, I can't even eat a lot of fruits at one time, so I really have to like spread all that out. Um, it's very strict when you're diabetic and pregnant. So I think I'm just going to be staying the course there. I am, I know I have to change a few things already. Um, I've been eating ranch dressing and I'm going to change that for light Italian to make that a little bit more healthy. Um, also when I put feta cheese on my salads, I used to just like topple it on. I'm just going to put a little sprinkle of feta cheese now. Just small, I'm working, I think for the month of February, I'm going to do small alterations like that just so I get more healthier choices. Um, and I do plan, even though it's a little bit stricter um, when you're pregnant and you have diabetes from when after you're pregnant, or after your birth and you have diabetes, I think for a while I'm probably gonna stay this course just for the fact that I wanna get more healthier and um, lose more weight after this baby is born. So I'm thinking about keeping this, at least for a little while, this strict diet, uh, for lack of better terms, um, for a few months to a year maybe. I don't really know. I haven't really planned that out yet. I know that I want to keep healthy and keep this strict diet. Um, I guess it's, it is a diet. But this strict diet... Um, I'm kind of rambling. This strict diet for after I give, born, or give birth... So, yeah. Um, but that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great day. If you liked this video, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Give it that thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. I really appreciate it. And I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye!